OK, let's say that you've got your staircase and you want to put a cupboard under the stairs. So really, we want a wall under there. So we're going to have a little look at doing that today. So on this ground floor plan here, I've already put a couple of section views in either way. And I'm now going to draw a wall. I'm not too worried about the type of wall at the moment, so I'll just use an interior block wall, 100 mil, and draw that in there like so. But now if we flick back to our 3D view, we can see the wall is full height up to the upstairs. So that's not really ideal. What I'm going to do now is highlight the wall I've just created, go to the section that looks at it, and then I'm going to edit the profile of the wall. And this will enable me to draw lines to match the profile of the staircase. So I'll just start at the top by here, come across. If you need to zoom in a bit, that's always a good idea. Okay, and then of course we've got to make sure that we get rid of any pink lines we don't want. Just trim these to nice tidy corners. Press the tick. Now that's the shape of our wall on that side, which as we can see, now fits under the stairs and looks much nicer. Okay, next we want to do the same with this wall. So we'll now go to the next section. And look at that. Oop, zoom in a bit. Edit that profile. And that one, we'll just take from there up to there. And use the trim command to just chop those down to that and delete the lines we don't want. And there we go. Look at that in the 3D. And now we can see we've got that there as well. So then we could just finish it off, ground floor plan, get a doorway. Not a big door, just a little door. By the way, look at that. And now we have a cupboard under the stairs.